Hey, how's it going guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So with the thank you celebration coming up on Global in about a week from now, I have recently had a lot of people asking me to tell them exactly how many free Dragonstones they can expect from this upcoming celebration, right? And I've been a little bit hesitant to make this video mainly because the short answer to that question is I don't really know because I don't know what events, I don't know what missions and all that stuff Bandai has planned for us for this upcoming celebration so I can't give you an exact number but what I can do for you guys is provide a very rough estimate of how many stones we'll get based on uh, what happened during the Golden Week celebration, the Tanabata celebration both on JP and also the uh, thank you celebration on Global from last year, right? So. If you guys are okay with a very rough number that may or may not be close to the actual number of stones that we get when the celebration officially begins, then um, keep watching, alright? So <laughs> without further ado, let's jump into it. And we're gonna start with the Golden Week stuff first because if you guys didn't know, the Thank You Celebration is essentially gonna be a fusion of the Golden Week Celebration and the Tanabata Celebrations on JP. And I think it's most likely going to be this big two-part celebration. So that's why I'm using uh, those two as a reference. And as you can see on the left side of the screen, we have the details. On the right side of the screen, we have a little spreadsheet helping me keep track of everything we're talking about, as well as how many stones for each. So let's get it started. Okay, so first things first, um, from the Golden Week side, we have a step-up banner, which would be absolutely amazing if we got it, but... Unfortunately, it doesn't provide any stones. So next up is the Hercules Heart Pounding uh, Gifts or Login Bonus. And I do think Global will be getting this again for the Thank You Celebration. But this one obviously is super, super RNG dependent. If you're really lucky, in theory, I think you could get like 70 stones from it or something if you get 7 stones every day, right? But let's say on average... You can expect between two to three stones. Let's say two stones to be safe. So if it's two stones a day on average, and it's gonna be, you know, across like 10 days or so, then you can expect 20 stones from the Hercule login bonus. So that's the first thing right there. And next up, we have some login bonuses and missions, which um, we always get, right, for any celebration. And I combined part one and part two together. So for the login bonus, I said 85 stones mainly because that's what we got last year for the 2018 thank you celebration so that's why it's 85 there's literally no other rhyme or reason behind it i didn't really do any additional calculations i just looked at last year's login bonus and it was 85 so I was like okay we're gonna go with 85 for this year as well and then also for the missions i put 77 for part one and part two because that's also what we got for last year so <laughs> these two numbers are basically just um, grabbed from last year's thank you celebration and it's 85 stones for logins, 77 for missions, and uh, 20 from the Hercule login bonus on average. Of course, like I said, there could be a lot of variance with that one depending on how lucky you are. And then if we move along, we know we're definitely getting the dual Dokkan Fest between Trunks and Zamasu. So for their new Dokkan events, it's two stones each for the Zamasu Dokkan event and the Trunks Dokkan event. And then from there, uh, Dragonstone Sale, that's not free. Uh, this is the blue Dragonstone Selection. Um, category banner, another banner, Extreme Z battle events, all good stuff, but no free stones from there. And then, after that, we have the Int Vegeta Legendary Campaign, but for Global, this time around, we know for a fact it's actually going to be the LR Trunks Legendary Campaign instead. And in total, we can expect up to 30 stones from this campaign. I mean, it really depends on whether or not you completed the Trunks before the campaign begins. So. We can get up to 30 stones, let's say. If you uh, don't get the trunks done before the campaign begins, you can get up to 20 stones. But if you're like me and you already finished the trunks like a long time ago, then you can get up to 30 stones for this campaign. And then after that, we have a new boss rush stage, boss rush stage 9. That's 35 stones. And also, let's see what else we have here. A new ultimate clash or battlefield, which is definitely happening. Um, either for part one or part two, most likely part 
one actually of the thank you celebration because the current battlefield is ending in a couple days, right? So the time may make sense. So let's say new ultimate clash, 31 stones on average for those. And that is pretty much going to do it for the part one stuff. And then if we move on to part two, which is going to be very similar in my opinion to the Tanabata celebration on JP, then we're going to have, okay, let's see, uh, more missions, more login bonuses. But like I said, I combined everything to, into uh, one up here. So we're not going to include more for that. Um, they got go bros, but I don't think we're going to get, I mean, it's possible, I guess, but I think it's very unlikely. We'll be getting a new unit, possibly. Maybe we'll get like a legendary summon banner, some kind of something like that, instead of the uh, Go Bros Dokkan Fest banner. But either way, new banner does not mean new stones, so or more stones. So uh, we're gonna skip through these. Uh, thank you banner, of course. No free stones from there. Dragonstone sale, Dokkan event. Uh, we already got this revamp. Uh, and also Perunga is really, really awesome. Perunga is really, really great. And as much as he provides some great rewards. He doesn't give any free stones, so that kind of sucks. Okay, <laughs> wish trip stuff, um, the easy A selection thing, which we're probably not going to get either. Um, let's see. Okay, so this Universe 6 story event, I am really, really hoping we get uh, for the thank you celebration, mainly because it's a really great story event with a lot of awesome farmable units, and um, we're due for it, right? So... If we do end up getting the Universe 6 story events, that's going to be a total of 14 stones from the stages as well as missions. And then uh, probably the return of a few other story events, maybe the Universe or the um, you know Survival Saga stuff, maybe not. Uh, depends on what Bandai wants to do. And then, uh, let's see. Okay, so new Extreme Z Battle, Extreme Z Awakening. Obviously, we just got Broly. But if we do get another one, which we did for last year's Thank You Celebration as well, then I'm predicting it's going to be Golden Frieza. And if we do get that, then it's going to be another 30 stones for a new Extreme Z battle event. Um, next up is the Bojack movie revamp. All right, so this one is a little bit iffy. We may or may not get it. I mean, same thing with the Universe 6 story event. Uh, that's kind of a question mark as well. But let's say we get that as well as the Bojack movie revamp. Um, since we are overdue for that as well. We're actually overdue for a lot of story events, man. We're like super, super behind on uh, Global for both new story events as well as story, story event revamps. So let's say we also get the BoJack movie revamp and uh, that's gonna be 22 total stones from the stages as well as missions. And then next up is a special weekend um, mission campaign thing where basically on the weekends we can uh, get some more stones and additional Sleepy Kai's. And that's about 20 stones. I think for here it was 21 stones. But um, the last time we got the weekend missions on Global, we got 20 stones. So we'll go with that. And then also, I am expecting, 100% expecting, a new world tournament. And I know this number seems kind of big. But we actually, I did the calculations um, from the World Tournament itself, but also from those daily missions we get during the World Tournament. We can get up to 52 stones if we do everything, all right? So 52 Dragon Stones from a new World Tournament if we get that. And then uh, that's going to do it pretty much for the event as far as I'm aware. But there's also Top Grossing Stones, which we may or may not get. But since the Thank You Celebration is a very big celebration and also uh, for Dual Dokkan Fest in general, we usually do pretty well for top grossing, so I'm predicting, like I think there's a very good chance we'll get top grossing stones um, for the thank you celebration, and I'm predicting 50 stones since I think we're gonna hit it for quite a few regions. And then there's also most likely gonna be some kind of social media campaign. I mean, maybe, but there's a good chance I think for some kind of minor social media campaign, like a Facebook campaign of some kind. And I just put 15 stones here because it seems like the right number. I mean, it's it's nothing crazy, obviously. Uh, it could be more, could be less. There could be no Facebook campaign. Like I said at the beginning of this video, guys, it's a super, super rough estimate. But um, that about covers everything that I think we're going to get for the celebration. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty big celebration with two parts and a lot of events. So if we add everything up, we're just going to go with a quick equals sum right here and add all of these things we just talked about and we're looking at a grand total of 485 free-to-play dragon stones for the 2019 global thank you celebration now 
Before anybody says this number seems crazy, it seems too big, you're, you're wrong, and so on and so forth, let's take a look at last year's thank you celebration on Global. And as you can see, I'm not going to go through everything obviously, but the grand total from both parts came out to 507 stones. So my prediction for this year's is actually lower than last year's, which actually leads me to believe that I'm actually underestimating how many stones we're going to get because um, essentially as the game progresses, celebrations get bigger. I mean, as evidenced by like the download celebration, we just got the 300 million download celebration on Global where we got over a thousand stones. So I actually think it's more likely that we'll get more stones this year than we got last year. And since we got 507 total stones for last year's thank you celebration, um, we should easily expect over 500, but um, where the stones come from, I don't really know. So this is just based off of what I'm aware of, what I think we're gonna get. And my number is 485. So there you go guys, 485 stones, maybe around 500 incoming for the thank you celebration on uh, global and like i said in the beginning of this video man it could be wrong it could be right it could be somewhat close but that's the best i can do so that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed it uh, in some way hope you guys found it informative in some way and as always if you guys liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And I hope you guys are excited for this upcoming celebration. Like I said, it's going to be a big one. Um, it's going to be a nice change of pace from just the absolute nothing on global we've been experiencing recently. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.